So how should we present this case study? Maybe just as nursing students trying to study for the pharmacology test, complete with pointless conversation in between questions. Really imaginative there. Look, I'm tired. My muscle relaxer is wearing off. American Idol gets more disappointing with each episode. And through all of this your robotic voice increases in annoyance. Let's just get on with this. Sounds fair 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 to me. Um, okay. Let's start off with reading the case study. Hey, one of you students presenting that is more awake than the guy with glasses, read the case study and make it quick. Last time we did this, our case study was three times longer than anyone else's. Yes. Now let's read the first question. I'm so excited. Yes, yes, yes. Energetic, aren't we? Yes. All because of coffee, coffee, coffee. Okay, first question. What do you think is the cause of the patient's complaints? Let's see. Pale, puffy, expressionless face, her cold, dry skin, brittle hair and hair loss, decreased heart rate and temperature, slight impaired mentation with the repetitive questioning, and an enlarged thyroid. Either, A, our patient is snooky, or B, she has hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism. That sounds, good, important, probably going to be on the test, the test of life that is. By the way, did you hear Snooky is pregnant? Wow. Wonder how many chairs they are going to need on Mari Povich's stage for that paternity test. Next question. What kind of labs do you think physician will order? Serum TSH levels. This is the test that is used to diagnose hypothyroidism. Due to the extreme sensitivity of the anterior pituitary to the changes in thyroid hormone levels, even the smallest reduction in serum T3 or T4 levels can cause a dramatic rise in serum TSH. Fascinating stuff. I'm so focused on it and know that if I want more information, I can just read the pharmacology text. Focused, focused, focused. Meds, meds, meds. You're freaking me out. I tend to do that. Anyways. Next question. Let's say the old MD decides to order a pregnancy test since little Miss Forgetful here forgot when her last menstrual cycle was. She asks why is it so important because she states she knows she's not pregnant since she has been very careful since her son was born. Sure she was. What what what? Nothing. Anyways, how do you respond to this inquiry? I would tell her that this is due to the risk that maternal hypothyroidism has on the fetus in the first trimester. It can cause permanent neuropsychological deficits in the child if left untreated. Therefore, it must be diagnosed and treated as soon as possible. Better safe than sorry, right? The class can answer out loud. I am look straight at you guys, after all. Geez, so passive. Last question. Finally. Why are they ending house after this season? What? Sorry, I get easily distracted. I'm just really going to miss that show. It's like my favorite TV show of all time. Moving on. Of the previously stated meds, do you think there'll be any drug interactions? Yes, on all of the stated meds. The caraphate and ferrous sulfate can reduce the absorption of levothyroxine, so therefore it should be take either four hours before or after each other. Next, the Zoloft can increase the metabolism of levothyroxine, therefore dosage increase may be anticipated. Excellent. That's it. We're done. Do we have any more jokes to tell the class? Not that I know of. Anyone else got any jokes? Anything? This one wasn't as funny as the last presentation. What did you expect? It's on thyroid medications. Yeah, not much material to work with there. But I'll tell you what it has a lot of knowledge. Agreed. And on that note, let us say goodbye. And now, the students standing before you will sing an entertaining yet educational song. Just kidding. Turn the camera off now.